what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we are going to be going over the arch paladin class the buffs it received last night and whether or not it's actually a good class now uh before it was okay it didn't do a lot of damage it kept you alive and it was good for team fights not so good for solos at least the solos i tried doom kitten uh, blood titan uh, just bosses that i think are uh, semi hard to solo uh, didn't do well in those uh, I mean it could defeat the red dragon but I could do that with the warrior class so let's get into the video all right first things first we have to go over the buffs it received so I'm on Pisces Twitter at uh, PSI underscore AE if you want to follow him there he's the guy that made the class so um, the cooldown is reduced by 5 seconds and increases your damage by 2% per stack. Uh, skills 1, 3, and 4 are also long range now. Um, so if you saw my first class guide, you would have seen that uh, the skills were not long range at all. And I feel like it should be more of a long range class uh, based on the skill set it has and the multi-target nature. You can't really have a multi-target class that only hits the monsters that are uh, like three centimeters away from your body. That doesn't really work as a class. So having the range increased on the one, three, and fourth skill respectively is probably gonna change up how my perception on this class by a lot. So we'll try it farming, uh, which I still don't think it'll do too well. But maybe if you're farming like bosses that have 10k plus health and deal like two or three or 400 damage per shot, I don't know where you would farm bo farm uh, mobs like that, but if that could be the case, then this would probably be a good class to have in that room while farming that. Um, the rank 10 passive wasn't working properly and now increases all of your outgoing damage by 20%. So the rank 10 passive, if you didn't know, is an uh, output damage uh, increased by 20%. Uh, apparently it wasn't working properly, so now it's going to actually do that. And your last skill now uh, is now only 70 mana so last uh before the buff it was 75 mana so 75 percent of your overall mana on the third skill doesn't reduce your outgoing damage by as much as it originally did um i don't know if that reduces your enemies if that also doesn't reduce your enemies damage as much as it originally did either uh maybe it's uh maybe they just uh change the amount of damage it reduces we could probably see in game the percentage of damage it reduces so those are the buffs that the class received let's see if it's any better okay so i had you guys uh, select uh, mobs for or bosses i guess the bosses i asked for bosses to uh try the class on and the first one we have is the onyx dragon he asked for the blood titan but i <laughs> said i already died to the blood titan which i did when the class first got buffed i logged on real fast just to test it out tried the normal blood titan and i died to the normal blood titan Using my skills properly, I may tell you. I didn't use my fifth skill at all. I was using my fourth skill to stack, and I was using my heal when my health got low and I died still to the normal Blood Titan. I think it's just the fact that that Blood Titan is really strong and he has undodgeable skills. Uh, so I don't think the class is very good. I don't think any class is very good at soloing the Blood Titan, honestly. So the first one is the dragon. So to go to the dragon, we got a slash joint lair. I will, uh, it's a long walk, so I'll pause the recording and I'll see you when we're there. Okay, real quick, while I'm walking to the uh, dragon, I thought I would just uh, quickly go over why I'm no longer in the doge army or whatever that was <laughs> that we were in. I don't know, I just don't like that the text, like if I could turn my guild on and off or just have it so it doesn't like the guild uh, text doesn't show up below my name, I would still be in a guild, honestly. I don't mind being in a guild. Uh, but I just don't like that it adds text. I think your character looks a lot nicer without the guild text below his or her name. So I'm just going to, I think, not be in a guild, uh, honestly. Uh, in AQ3D, I have a lot of ideas for the AQ3D guild system. I'll be making a video on uh, features I want in AQ3D. So I think the guilds are going to be really good in that game. And I'll definitely be involved in guilds if they work out how I would want them to. But we'll see in the future. So here is the boss. The Onyx Lava Dragon. He has over 100 a K health, 116 K. So pretty, pretty, pretty high health. I don't think we'll kill him very fast, but we should stay alive doing it. He's only level 45, so we have a 20 level advantage on this guy. But let's see what, let's see how this does. So let's see if we need to even heal with for this guy. Yeah, we do. 
<laughs> he does he does some damage. So I'm not gonna use my heal right away. I'm gonna wait till we get below at least like near 500 health before we heal, uh, because I had some people telling me in the last video that that I shouldn't be healing that much. Um, so we're gonna heal right here, but we're just healing preemptively so we can use our fifth attack here and not die after using it. Uh, so we have five stacks. Let's use our five skill, and it missed. <laughs> Really? That's still. Sh oh my god! I wish the hit chance was like 90% or 85% or something on that on the last skill because I never hit it. I don't know why. Maybe I just have horrible RNG luck, but I can never hit the fifth skill on this class, and it takes 70 mana, which it's they reduced it by five mana, but still not the greatest. Um, honestly, so it looks like we're staying alive. We are soloing it, so I would expect to stay alive. Let's use our four skill here. Uh, let's get some more stacks because I want to pop the fifth skill and then heal that's a little risky move but I, I think it I think it'll be worth it there we go 17,000 damage in a single strike that's what happens when that skill actually hits <laughs> uh, but okay so and it critical too so it didn't just give me like seven it used to uh before i think they fixed the critical thing hopefully they did i don't think pisces didn't say they did but uh, uh before the buff i would hit the fist skill it would do like more damage than normal but not a lot of damage like it would do like 7k and, and it wouldn't critical like i get white text 7k so it looks like i did a 7k auto attack or something when i hit the fist skill I don't know if that's a bug or something. Maybe that still happens. If you get that happening to you, please leave a comment down below. Uh, so we're actually doing really well against this boss. I don't know a reference point. I think I did a Stone Crusher solo and Stone Crusher could solo this guy. Which Stone Crusher is an okay solo class, not a great one. It's more of a support. This class is a huge support class, by the way. Um, I was using it in parties even before the buff. And if you get this class in a party with say a stone crusher maybe a healer of some sort stone crusher is a healer so we're gonna use our fifth skill and then the fourth skill right away uh that way the fourth skill protects us for a little bit so we can stack up our twos some more and we're just gonna heal just for why not uh we got the mana to spare plus we need to get some stacks up and our fifth skills on uh recharge at the moment so we have to wait so we might as well just heal for the hell of it it looks like the mana is a lot better now like i'm i seem to be not needing mana as much i don't know if they reduce mana cost on other skills but it seems like it's better this class is doing a lot of work at the moment all right i'm gonna i'm gonna wait i'm just gonna wait i'm not gonna use any skills i want to hit the fifth skill one more time hopefully hopefully my character doesn't auto attack it to death yeah that the two percent damage stack on your two skill is really really showing up in 8k non-critical non-critical on the fifth skill 8k to finish them off so you still can hit non-criticals with your fifth skill i don't know if it's because your fifth skill buffs your output damage so deals massive damage buff by the stacks of commit of your first skill caps out at five stacks consume stacks of uh, your first skill you can exhaust um you but you come exhausted and can't give stacks of your first skill for eight seconds so it doesn't say anything about buffing your damage so like there's no way that the the skill itself could hit and then your auto just has a buff damage amount which i think that's what i think that's why that happens but i don't know like i seem to hit non-criticals with my fifth skill all the time so hopefully that's fixed i don't i don't know but so very successful and we did actually kill this boss pretty fast if you don't know if you never fought this boss before he actually has a huge amount of like uh armor or whatever you call it like he, he negates a lot of your damage so very good boss fight let's move on to the second one suggested from the twitter all right so the second one was ultra pedra i had to look it up on the wiki not gonna lie uh but we do have a slash join so we can slash join right to the boss slash join ultra pedra if you would also like to try out the class on it if you have the class uh so here uh, uh she is i guess pedra i don't know so 200,000 233,000 uh, HP on this and I don't know what her damage output. She has a higher level than the onyx dragon. So let's see what happens here Ooh, those animations are pretty heavy. So I healed there by accident. That was an accident. I'll admit that uh, Hopefully our mana comes back 
So we're counting stacks, so we're at three stacks. I don't know if the heal takes away stacks. I, I would assume it takes away a stack or two. But we're gonna just... Okay, so this boss seems to be missing me a lot. This might be like a super, super easy boss. I don't know if this boss is easy because my health isn't going down and I'm not healing. Let's use our fist skill. There we do. We did a 5k non-critical with our fist skill right there. A 5k non-critical. <laughs> so triggered. So triggered. Always crits, boys. Always crits. Alright, let's pop our 4 skill and then our 3 skill. That way we, get incre uh, we can just heal back and get some mana back. It would be cool if you use your uh, four skill and then that gave you mana, like a slow mana regen or something on your like a five second mana regen of some sort. That would be a cool skill to have. So we're just putting major stacks. So the, when you're most vulnerable with this class is after you use your fifth skill because that takes away a, a few bit of your, a, a little bit of your stacks, you know, it takes away a few stacks. So. We are gonna stack a few more here and then pop our fifth skill just so I have the extra stacks laying around for my two skill. Seems like the cooldown on the two skill is a lot less now too, which is good. I think Pisces said he was gonna make the two skill do less damage, but uh, increase uh, damage when stacked. So it's more of a stacking class, you more focus on that. So here's our fifth skill. We just did 7k damage or 6,999 damage, non-critical again. Uh, for this class, I'm using Full Wizard. If anyone is curious about the enhancements, I have all my classes Full Wizard. And uh, yeah, I was recommended by Pisces to use Full Wizard. Some people are saying Hybrid and Luck works really well with this. Uh, you can try that out on your own time, of course. I'm going to stick with Full Wizard because that's what I use for basically every class in the game at the moment. Except for like uh, a few classes like the Legion Doom Knight and... Um, What's that one? Artifact Hunter? Yeah, a few PvP classes that are just need luck to succeed. So we're not dying here. I, I don't think we could die. I honestly don't think we could die at this point with the amount of stacks we have. It seems like the damage reduction and the, the hit chance, in, like, he's uh, she's missing, like, every attack. Look at, uh, look at my character. Dodge, miss, dodge, miss. It doesn't seem like we can even be hit at this point. Like, I think we might have the 100% reduction in hit chance, which could happen with this class. I think that's happened right now. So, we're literally untouchable. I haven't been hit in minutes now. We're untouchable. I'm just stacking two. So, let's see what happens when we use our fist skill. Can we be touched? It did 8k non-critical. And we were touched right there. Okay, so taking away the five stacks really. Oh, we just got hit for 200. Let's pop our four skill. So, yeah, when you use your stacks, you are, that's when you're most vulnerable when you use your fifth skill. So, always pop your four skill right after your fifth skill and then probably heal also. So, we're at 17 health and we've already got the, the Pedro down to half health. So this, I'm, I'm going to put this fight in the bag and for the interest of time, I'm going to pause the recording. If anything happens while I'm doing this fight, I will uh, show you guys. Quick update, I used my fifth skill, didn't critical again, uh, white text on my fifth skill. It might be doing critical like damage, but I think the critical damage is near 20k, like uh, 17k like we hit with that one critical. So this isn't always critical, even though the design notes did say it did always critical when it hit, so... I'm doing more damage, but not critical damage, which is, hopefully that gets fixed. Just did an 8k non-critical again by using my fifth skill. I'm <laughs> pretty sure it's bugged at this point. Alright, so we're done the fight now. Uh, it's in the bag. But, uh, a few things that I have to note. The damage does not seem that much different, honestly. It doesn't seem like it's that different, the damage I'm doing. It would be a lot better if the critical actually hit. Oh, there we are, we're rank 10 Paladin class. Thanks, Adventure Quest Worlds. So the damage might be actually be better now, because every time you log out of Adventure Quest Worlds, it resets the rank to your class to rank 9. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, game. Let's see how much damage we're doing now to the same boss as a comparison. Oh, yeah, we're doing 1,400 damage instead of 1k damage. Yeah, we're doing 15. Okay, so now we're doing a considerable more amount of damage so that first boss fight would have probably been a lot easier too if we were rank 10. 
dear god i i honestly that's my bad i forgot that that bug existed in the game where it resets your rank to nine um, so yeah we're doing a considerable more amount of damage right now than we were before so let's move on to the next boss suggested from my twitter page okay sarah recommended we do the boss in pirates i guess that's where all the class guys happen so it's a good comparison to other classes if we do the pirates boss i did that in my first class guide and for some reason i'm still attacking and not dead from i thought i was gonna die uh can i switch rooms here uh hopefully i don't have to log out all right i'll see you when we get to the boss in pirates all right we're here at pirates and before we go to the boss fight i would like to show you the multi-target potential of this class and why this might be a good class to use when farming higher x or higher not xp well xp higher level and higher damage and higher health enemies uh, multiple enemies at once so these guys aren't high health or anything or high damage or anything like that but this will display uh, the multi-target abilities that it has that it did not have before uh, the buff so as you can see we hit all three before that would not have happened we would have probably not even hit one uh, from that distance so we can uh, use our two skill to hit all three of them at once. And I really do love that animation that two skill has where it drops the axe. I like that animation a lot. So just thought I'd show that in the video that you can now actually do some legit farming with this. If you want to help someone out and reduce the damage of the enemies and increase, um, not increase, but yeah, reduce the damage of the enemies for someone. So, so it's good for support because it has a multi, it can heal your friends and it can also reduce the damage. So. Very good for support. This guy only has 69. That was in health. I think this will be an easy fight. Let's go one, two. Okay, I feel OP. Three, four. I think I've done three. Uh, let's go five. Let's do one more stack just, just, just in case. Hopefully we get a critical. Okay, so that should be five or six stacks. Boom. 17k one hit right there. So when that, when your critical hits. It does work, like a lot of work when your critical hits. When it doesn't hit though, it's a huge disappointment. And uh, the fact that the sign notes says it always criticals is pretty disappointing. All right, <laughs> so let's stack up again, hit the fist skill again once that's available. We will make quick, 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 quick work of this. So my thoughts on the class right now are that it's definitely worth going for right now, even if you're a non-member. I know the non-member quest line is insanely hard, but I've seen some people tweet at me telling me they've done it on two or three of their accounts, the non-member quest line. It's just pretty insane uh, that they've, they've done that on multiple accounts they owned. Uh, so, or they own. So, yeah, I'd go for the, I'd go for this class now. It's a very good boss class. If you had a whole room of people with this class fighting one boss at the same time, that boss would stand zero chance against your team. Because you'd have a whole team of healers, a whole team of damage dealers, and the reduction of damage to the enemy would be insane. Like that 21k critical. Alright, so I want to take one more suggestion for this video just for the sake of doing another boss. Uh, we got Slash Rain Boss Challenge, LOL in all caps. Um, that sounds like fun and you put the Slash Join in there for me, so let's take, uh, let's take this one. Let's do it in game. All right, so slash join boss challenge. Let's see what's here. I don't know. Uh, we have a few things. We have the grave claw, level sixty-five. Uh, I would say that that's probably that's probably an appropriate boss. So he has. Ooh, that's a lot of health. One point five mil, right? Yeah, that's one point five mil health. He's level sixty-five. Uh, I don't know what his damage output is. I think I've done this quest line here before or something like that, but eh, let's see. Why not? Hope. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> 7k is just like, yeah, you're out of here, boy. Get out of here with that class. Uh, second, second attempt. A second attempt at this, this boss. All right, so let's go in with our four skill and let's play this. Let's play it smart, you know? Here we go. Please don't one hit me. Please don't one hit me, good sir. I'm a, I'm a good person. Please don't one hit me. <laughs> okay, we, we lasted a few more seconds that time, so I don't think this is a soul low a bull boss, considering he can do 7k damage in one hit. I mean, you could probably solo him, but it'd be a lot of RNG. Um, 
Let's go for the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Oh dear, this guy does a lot of damage too. He's level 11 though. I wonder how he's level 11. Alright, so let's do a few stacks. He said any boss and then lol, so... This counts as any boss. <laughs> the lowest level one here. Oh, we did one or six thousand damage with that hit. Pretty, pretty crazy. Ten eighty there. Alright, we're using our four skill and we're gonna use our three skill as soon as it pops. What the hell's that noise? Alright. And we're it. Mana. Rip mana. Alright, so that's about it for the video, guys. Um, the class is really good now. Honestly, it is. Uh, so get it if you haven't got it already. There's quests to do. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow all my social media links in the description. Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, I stream on Twitch sometimes. I post all the videos to Facebook and Twitter is where I talk about dumb shit and also post videos and tell you when I'm streaming there. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, click the top right corner for the last video I uploaded. Bye.